In normal social interaction, people use gestures, facial expressions, and other visual cues to help convey their ideas. But what if you were blind? You wouldn't know if someone was smiling, surprised, or if they were even talking to you at all. Technology can help. With an inexpensive webcam interface and this vibrotactile glove, anyone can have access to the information that makes a conversation human. This is the camera interface for the Social Interaction Assistant. It consists of a USB CMOS camera mounted on a pan-tilt mechanism of two servo motors. After running face detection, it is capable of consistently tracking a face and extracting images of the eyes, eyebrow, and mouth in real time. It is even capable of tracking when a person is not directly facing the camera. In order to provide efficient, accurate, and real-time face tracking, a combination of HAR object detection and Kalman filtering is used. HAR object detection involves analyzing thousands of different rectangular features present in an image to determine whether or not a face is present, while Kalman filtering enables the software to discard false positives produced by the face detection algorithm. In order to detect whether a person's mouth is open or closed, we use the canny edge detection algorithm and compare the number of edges present in the mouth region of the face in each frame to an initial calibration frame. For eyebrow detection, we borrowed concepts from SIFT and created a custom solution that involved analyzing the intensities of several pixel columns in the eye region. The result is a software that is able to recognize dynamic changes in a person's face in their mouth and eyebrows. After recording measurements with six different participants, the results are very promising. The interface runs at approximately 10 frames per second, has a 90% accuracy for mouth state detection, and has an 83.5% accuracy for eyebrow state detection. The social interaction assistant is a start that can be approved upon, but from this experiment we learned that such a device is possible and may be available within the next few years.